So now we have a job related to a, a volunteer campaign. And what we want to do is to create a shift related to that job. So what we're doing is navigating through the campaign uh, to a specific job using the related piece. And we're going to start out, let's say we've got the sound tech. And again, given the details, we know we're going to be going to a related list. And we look and see, you know what? We don't have any current uh, volunteer shifts associated. So let's create a shift. So what we're going to do is we're going to see, again, looking for the asterisk fields, which are mandatory. That's, that's what we have is a sound tech. We've inherited that because we created from the sound tech. Uh, we're looking at a start date and time and a duration, how long it's going to last. Uh, a quick description on what that shift is about, if we need to. The number of volunteers that we'd like to have. Uh, and actually, that's the max number of volunteers that we'd like to have. And then total volunteers. In this case, it coaches you that it's a system field. Do not edit. System field. Do not edit. Um, automatically assigned. So basically, you're looking at job, date, time, duration, and the number, the max number of volunteers you're willing to have. Because I haven't entered, I'm going to cancel it. Because actually, believe it or not, there's a simpler way to get there. What we want to do instead is to look at volunteer jobs. This was at the high level menu. Remember here we clicked and we got to campaigns. Uh, in this case, we can go to volunteer jobs. Now, this being another, uh, we call these list views. If you uh, click here within this tab, what you're going to see is the list views available. All jobs, available jobs, ongoing, recently viewed. Um, all those will make sense as we work through it. But what we're seeing is we were just working with the sound tech. So let's go back in on sound tech. And what you're seeing is it's happening on, on one click from the tab, but we could also have navigated through the campaign to get to the job, because it's related. It's all a big hierarchy. So again, we're looking at, for this job, currently there's no shifts. So we're going to create a shift. And we're going to say that shift is going to occur. And let's say we're doing this on, just to be throw out a date, um, July 1st. So I'm going to say I'm going to do it on July 1st. And that shift is going to start at, um, at 6 o'clock PM. Now I could do this, right? We have a nice little clock we can pull from. So I'm going to say 6 PM. And then I'm going to say the duration of the hours is going to be for two hours. Uh, and I want a max number of two for this. So I'm going to save that. Now what you see is I have a shift. This allows me to delete or edit that shift. And again, that's really consistent if we look at the way this has been working. So I'm going to go back in on the shift. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to clone it because I want to create a second shift. So again, we're going to go back up here. And we're going to say we want to clone. But guess what? It's on the high level menu. So we can pull right from here. That's the good news. And in this case, what we're going to do is merely change the time to 8 PM, because that's the second shift. Again, for two hours, two people, I'm going to click Save. And now what I've got, if we look at, and let's go back up to it, right? We're going to Sound Tech. And I'm going to see the related list. And what I'm going to see is we have two shifts assigned. So now we've assigned shifts. What do we do from here?